Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can easily retain skin textures whenever you are retouching or editing your images using frequency separation. So oftentimes, some people tend to overdo frequency separation and they tend to have a little bit of a plastic-like looking image that doesn't have the natural skin details in them. Then others, whenever they try to use frequency separation, they don't tend to get the desired results and they see no effect regarding their retouching process. So this is because they tend to use a very wrong radius for the Gaussian blur. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating and elaborating that for you right here in Photoshop. So if at all you want benefit, or if at all you find the video helpful, simply like the video, don't forget to subscribe. So for this, I'm basically going to be using frequency separation action. And if at all you want to purchase my actions to support the channel, simply check for the download link in the description of this very video so i'm just going to come to the actions right here and i play my skin retouching 16-bit action so as soon as you play the action if at all the action you're using was recorded well it always stops at the point whereby you have to put the gaussian blur radius for the image that you're trying to edit and this is the determining factor for retaining or losing out the skin textures whenever you're trying to edit so for the action i've just played you can see it has stopped at this point where it is saying gaussian blur and you can see radius right here so i'll take the radius all the way down so whenever you're using frequency separation you always have to first of all take the slider all the way down and you click on an area that has more skin details so look for look at the skin and look for that area that has more skin details or skin textures than the rest of the image and you click on it and as soon as you click on it it's going to display under the gaussian blur dialog box right here and always make sure the preview is turned on so what we want to do we are simply going to come to the radius slider and we just want to blur away the details from the skin remember we are blurring away the details from the skin we are not making the overall image blurry but we are simply going to blur away the skin textures or the skin details so to do this you simply left click on the slider and hold down and you start dragging up so you drag up and you release to see the effect in real time so you have to drag and stop at the point whereby you are just starting to close out on the skin details or the skin textures in the image or in the photo that you're trying to edit so at about let me take this up so at about 7, that is when I'm just starting to close out on the details in the skin area. But I can still identify the details or where the details were in the skin initially. So you can see I've stopped at the point whereby I am just starting to lose out on the details. But I can still identify where the details were in this case. So I'll just click on OK. And the action is going to continue playing. So in order to retouch. We use the mixer brush tool so I'll just come to my brushes and get the mixer brush tool and make sure clean brush is selected then clean brush after each stroke is also selected with the weight of nine percent load 75 mix 90 flat 100 percent so usually what i would recommend you can work with this layer turned on but always make sure sample orders is not turned on so i'm just going to hide this this is what i recommend most people to do and what is left is simply using the mixer brush tool and blending the tones or the colors within the skin. So I'll just blend quickly and i show you how this is going to be nice and effective. So I'm just going to blend like that. And as we're doing this technique or this method of hiding or turning off the, text, the texture layer, you can see the image tends to look a little bit plastic as you're brushing because... Right now, our major focus is on the colors and not on the details. That is why the image is a little bit plastic in this case. So when you come back and we turn on the texture or high frequency, like you can see the textures have been left intact within the image. And you can see the before, after, before and after. Nothing has been tampered with regarding the skin details or the skin textures. So after brushing... You can select the high frequency layer and come to the clone sample tool 
Measure no, the mode is no more. Opacity is 100%. Flat 100%. Align this check and sample set current layer. And you can simply hold down the alternate key on the keyboard or the option key on the keyboard and left click to sample. And release the option key on the keyboard and left click over the pimple or the blemish to eliminate it. So remove the blemishes after using the mister brush tool. So take your time as you're trying to do that. So let me show you the mistake most people tend to do when it comes to editing using frequency separation. So after they play the action, this is where they go wrong regarding the Gaussian blur radius. Some people tend to use a very low radius for the Gaussian blur. So when you use a very low radius, meaning a very low radius is going to be applying a high number of blurring or a high level of blur to the skin. So let me first of all show you how this is going to be affecting the image. So I use a very low radius of 1.3 and I click OK. So when I come and I get the missile brush tool and I try to brush over the skin. So when I try to come and try to brush over the skin, you can see that the image tends or the skin tends to look so plastic and it looks unnatural and very unrealistic even when you come and turn on the texture layer you can see how unrealistic the skin has gotten to look or to be and we have lost out on a biggest percentage of the skin details or the textures but that is as a result of using a, a wrong amount of gaussian blur which is very low remember a very low radius for the gaussian blur is going to be applying a very high blood to the skin so you can see that we have lost out on the details in the skin so if at all you, you accidentally use a very high gaussian blur so i'm just going to be using a very high gaussian blur for, for example around 17 and i click ok so when i come and i start blending or brushing on the skin let me just turn this on so when i start brushing on the skin you can see basically there is no effect onto the skin so meaning a very high Gaussian blur radius is going to be maintaining so much of the details, but you're going to be working on the colors by seeing no effect at all regarding the colors that you're trying to blend. So let me just do a quick recap about the best way to do this. So play the action, and as soon as the action plays, take the radius all the way down, click on the skin area that has more textures in that particular area then come to the radius and start dragging up the radius slider but remember you drag up the radius slider as you are seeing or looking at the skin details and releasing to see the effect in real time so you stop at the point whereby the textures are just starting to disappear the most point or the major point here is stop at the point whereby the details or the textures are just starting to disappear from the image and click ok and simply get the mixer brush tool and with the color layer all of frequency layer selected you can go ahead and start blending the tones and to blend you simply left click and hold down and you mix colors that are looking alike to create a very nice and smooth transition between those colors so i'm just going to be doing this quickly because i don't want the tutorial to be a long one and if at all you're interested in a free retouching course i'll also drop a link for you to watch that course right here on youtube so you can see that the textures are still left intact you can say before after before and after for just the blending process and that is how you can easily retain and always retain skin details when you're trying to edit and retouch skin using frequency separation this is it for this video and if i told you have enjoyed this don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if i told you have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank for watching. I'll see you in more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.